What's up, guys? Do you want to be universe? And this is gonna be episode 14 of CV Universe <sighs> Monster Reunion. Okay, this is not to take a rock scientist to actually figure out that this is gonna be uh, where Centipedo Centipedo comes back. I mean, <laughs> kind of. As soon as I saw the title when I was getting this episode, I'm like, this is this is it, isn't it? This is it. Took him long enough because I missed Centipedo. Uh, from the last episode where we saw Centipedo, uh, there were many theories going on uh, about how monsters are made and how they work and how they function and whatnot when it comes to like. The Steve Universe, universe, you could say, and it seems, it seems though, it, I don't know how we can help her. The only things that come to mind when it says that help her is the healing that can do with Rose and Steven, or something along those lines. But all I can say right now is, if this is the episode where uh, she's coming back, let's see uh, what happens because in the last episode we saw before it turned into a monster. Uh, we first saw, like, a female, uh, uh female-like form before it turned into the centipede. So, we're gonna see what, what's going on. So head off into Google, uh, Google Drive in the description below, check out the reaction, come back if you want to hear my end review. Because this, this is interesting enough for me to want to just see what happens. First, I need to see how, what makes Steven, because it's gonna be Steven, who else is gonna, like, want to pop the bubble to release it? Surely not one of the gems. Especially Garnet, and uh, well, especially Pearl, uh, and so on and so forth. So let's go. Three, two, one, now. Like during the war time, something happened, but what happened apparently had something to do with diamonds. And notice how it's three diamonds and not four diamonds. How the Diamond Authority was supposed to have four diamonds. So three of the diamonds did something to just end the war, but didn't do anything to truly end off Earth. So we could say something happened to where... I, I, I'm not going to make theories because I'm not good at making theories. I'm going to make assumptions. And my assumptions it just... Mm, okay. But this is... It, you guys are smart. You do this all the time. So I'm just going to let you do your thing when it comes to being in the comments section because you do this a lot. You're smarter than me. Half of you would really like to grind that in. But, you know, just do your thing. As for... As for uh, 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 Centipedo's uh, newfound home, nah, that's good. I'm happy they actually brought Centipedo back for this revelation. And just the, the backstory between what happened in the war. We have Lapis who got or he got punched by what we presume to be Bismuth. And that, that episode's coming out sooner or later. And who presumes to be Bismuth, and that's how she turned into a gem. Pretty much everyone's lives were ruined during the time of war. And, you know, war. War never changes, except it kind of does when it comes to the who you're fighting and why you're fighting and who you're fighting for. Uh, but it doesn't change in the matter of violence. Well, actually it does, because the Cold War didn't have much violence. It was more of a war of coldness. So, whatever. War, cha war never changed. I'm trying to make the Fallout joke reference. Whatever. Anyway, so... Good episode all around, because the, the the development between this and what Steven can do, happen to know that Steven has his uh, healing powers back, so that could, like, come into play at any other given point as well. And Centibule is now back with her crew, at least as much as she has, has because there was only three there. And happen to know that if you give monsters a particular type of... What if Steven wants to do... Because even though it's impossible for Steven to save corrupted gems, because it's it's more of a mental state of mine and, and, and instead of a physical thing, but Steven still was able to halfway do it at, at, at that point. So if he happened to do that to any other gem, he would still have that moment in time where they can have a piece of their sanity... You could say until they turn into a monster, but it seems like they still had their sanity. At least Centipedo still had her sanity, uh, sanity, even after turning into a full-blown monster again. It's just all depending on they're just more hostile. You know, it's kind of like Hulk. If you if Hulk is in a stable environment with nice people and those people are not making him angry, he won't get angry. But if you just throw a rock at his head and start shooting at him, yeah, I'm pretty sure an unstable dude like him would start hulking out. You know, that's just like how people work. <laughs> if you do, do something to irritate someone, 99% of the time they're going to get irritated by it. So, yeah, anyway. I like this episode. So, you're just going to get on to the next episode, so I don't have to just, uh, delve too far into this. But this, is, this, brings up, this brings up way more questions about what the Diamonds did and how they did it. 
it, it because from what we already know, di the diamonds for with the punishment of what happened in the war when it comes to the crystal gem side being forcibly fused together, and now we have from the because now we, we truly know that the people on the monster side, some of them or not most of them, were actually on the side of the home world fighting against the fighting against the crystal gems and fighting against the crystal gems, and then something happened to where they turned into monsters. And that's it. That's interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to get started on the next episode. See you guys next time. Bye.